What is good, Diamond Dynasty baby? Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Y'all already know why we're here, man. Y'all already know, so I'm gonna get into the video. I don't know what to expect right now, but hey, let's do it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe? He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video. Just getting back from Houston, y'all. Had a great time at the concert. Houston is only four hours away from Dallas. It literally took us three hours and 30 minutes to get back to Dallas. So yeah, feels good to be home. Let's listen to what Leslie and Mr. Christopher Sells has to say to us, okay? Let's do it, y'all. I'm gonna try to be quiet and just listen, but I doubt that's gonna happen. But let's see how far we can go without me pausing the video. So let's get it, y'all. You know we were supposed to link up. Long fucking time. Long time ago. ago. Facts. Y'all late as hell, my nigga. And we never have, and she's finally here. Y'all late as hell, my nigga. Better late than never, but never, but better late than never, but never late is better. I'm not gonna look, I can't see you them. You definitely There's just no try reason to, why before I'm Before we put this camera on, you definitely try Hi to look at everybody, them. welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here, back with another video with you. You trying to take over your goddamn yeah. channel, girl. Yeah. And we're gonna be doing a... Get, she doesn't wanna get another me. Chris Sigo. Chris, Chris let her talk, Chris. Don't be asking me no questions, girl. Don't ask me no questions, girl. I'm not answering, I'm leaving. Uh, you wanna go first? This thing is silly. Wait, but this so is getting to know Chris. Baby. It's not getting to know me. You can ask me first. What's your favorite color? Mm. I'm gonna say you blue. Guess. I'm gonna say blue. You guess. What y'all guess? Let me know in the comments. I say blue. Red. You think I'm a suit? <laughs> uh, I fuck with red. Though. That's my favorite color. It's blue. It's blue. I know it. Yeah. I know it. Typical. So I keep asking you. Keep it down. Asking about twerking. Okay. Where do you see yourself in 50 years? What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> What's up? Chris. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. I see my, I don't know, Shut married up, kids. Bitch. The fuck? Yeah. Old as hell. Where do I see myself in five years? Still living in Florida. Florida. Still living in Florida. Still living in Florida. <laughs> I just moved there. Okay, so she's staying yeah, in Florida. I will still be in Florida. What you sipping on, Chris? Other than New York. Oh! I'm probably pursuing just being an entrepreneur. Did you That's what's up. Legs lean. I graduated. No, I see. <laughs> no, you didn't graduate. No, I did. Graduated. Uh, okay. Everybody ain't doing it nowadays. Business and marketing. Did you first? Yeah. I'm a college. That's Frank Irving University. Okay. Nigga. I'm a college yeah. dropout, so I can't even say that. Kudos to everybody who done graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Did you at least get an associate's degree? No, because I, I switched my major in my second year. Oh, and so I, I didn't even know that, y'all. So at first, I was just there doing my main classes, and then I finally figured out what I wanted to do. Was business, but that's a, I feel like it's a scam because business, you can learn that outside of school. That's a fact. Oh, what's your favorite designer if you had to pick your go to design? If you could just get every design, I mean, every From that same designer? Yeah, you have to pick one designer that you would just rock. You had to rock one for the rest of your life. Probably Louboutin. Mm hmm. What? I thought it was Louboutin or Louboutin, yo. Thanks for asking. Too many people with the DR. She said Louboutin. Too many people There's a lot of people with the DR. Like you, today. I don't know who the I don't know who that was fake. How many siblings do you have? I have 10 siblings. 10? I was gonna say, this nigga's a lie and a half, bro. 10? a lot. You try to come on home? We only seen like two or three. Damn. She said, Mom, Mom, Mom. Okay. 
How many sisters? How many brothers? Spoke. DeAndre, Dwayne, Terrell, William, Damn. Anthony. Five. And five of five. Mercedes, Lenendra, Patricia, Tamia. That's crazy. Three. My mom has. Yeah. My mom was in a family of twelve six, of twelve kids, six girls and six boys. Yeah. Huge family. Uh, that's why you act like that. I'm like what? Well, hey. She want nobody want to be around you. <laughs> Chris be flirting, y'all. I see you. That's bad. I don't like split people. Silver spoon. I don't act like that. I'm not spoiled. Yes, you are. No. You make me open to be a girl today. Uh. Because you remind me. <laughs> What is your dream job that you ever that you ever thought of when you was younger? Um, Y'all don't want to know mine. Wait, wait, wait. It's embarrassing. What's my dream job? <laughs> is it still like that? Okay. Yo. What do you look for? I'm gonna just pause the video right quick. I got on stage. I think it was like kindergarten or pre-K or one of them things, y'all. And I don't know if y'all did it back in the day, but y'all comment down below. Let me know if y'all did it too. But. You basically graduate like pre-K or kindergarten or something, like going into the first grade, grade school. But I swear y'all, I got on the stage, I got up to the mic, okay, nervous as hell. I did not even want to be on that stage. Hi, I'm Diamond, and when I grow up, <laughs> I want to be a crossing guard. And I literally said I wanted to be a crossing guard so I could help the kids cross the street, bro. That's what I said, okay? I know, haha, ha, it's funny. I'm pretty sure y'all are laughing in the comment section down below. But look, I just remember it to this day and I look back like, oh, hell fucking no. Tragic, anyway. Right there. What's your personality? Cause I feel like- I'm a lawyer. That's my dream job. Is it still like that? Probably not, no. What do you look for in a girl? What's your personality? Cause I feel like if you don't have a good personality, I can't talk to you. No matter how good you look. True. I just I just can't. Looks fading, it's not all about looks. But I can't have feed a my soul. good personality mm -hmm. and no looks. Feed my soul. Because baby. if you got a good personality and I wake up and you look like my a mind monster, and my soul. I'm just I just can't do it. This nigga said I'm monster. And then I look for juicy booty. Juicy booty. Because if you don't I'm not gonna like I can't wake up and get a boner like off that and like off you being skinny. Chris, well, juicy booty. I'm gonna have some juicy, I gotta have like some butt back there. Cause if you don't, I'm not gonna, like, I can't wake up and get a boner, like, off that, and, like, off you being skinny. Dress good. No, not really. I'm not going to say dress. I really don't even care about that. As long as you're not. You know, TMI, Chris. TMI. Hygiene. Hygiene has to be important. That's more important. Not <laughs> 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 Like, shout out to Chris. Stop it. Just stop it. Go to with your question. <laughs> she blushing. She blushing. <laughs> White socks. She blushing. A little mud on the cheek. <laughs> This is, this is weird. I'm not gonna lie. Stop looking at my stuff. I thought that's a Fortnite. Like, huh? Fortnite movie? Favorite movie. Favorite movie is Ava. The X is Goliath. Yes. Why Ava? Why Ava? Yeah. I don't know. I I know that movie by heart. I like Ava. The raps and all that. Like the rap Really? Yeah. That's a good movie. I don't want to say the last dance. This guy is a gangster. <laughs> He's so annoying. <laughs> no, that was an A model. I know it was. Duh. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> this is just weird to watch. I ain't gonna lie. Who do you, who do you, who do you? I ain't hear shit you said. <laughs> what turns you off? Oh, I'm just thinking. I'm not gonna be in a box because when I hear that word, turn me off. The other stuff. Mm. So I think turning me off is stank coochie. Like, okay, can you kind of elaborate? Like, what do you mean turn off? Like, in the female, like as far as like Probably what yeah, makes me not know. like her, or like I guess just yes. turn off in general. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you off. Hygiene, like I said before. 
True. And not omitting to when you're wrong. Oh, I, I, that's a good I, one. Like, that's get a good argument, one. A dispute. That's a good one. Dispute. Please. And you don't omit when you're wrong. Hold yourself accountable, man. Like, that's if trash. I'm to you if you don't. Problem, I want you to fix it. Facts. Yes. Come on now. That's a fact. Like, turn you off where you don't want to talk to the person? Anymore? Yes. Okay, let's put the scenario where it's not your girlfriend, it's just somebody you're talking to. A date. Um, you're dating someone, what will turn it off? I haven't dated in a while, so damn. Chris, you dated in a long ass time, so. Stop playing, bro. Shit, I got a list of terms. <laughs> I bet you do, Leslie. Well, I can turn off quicker. Okay, let me, let me hear it. No, that's not what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you can't add it. Yes, I can. Go, go. Next question. Ain't nothing turning you off. <laughs> okay, do you believe in God? Of course I do. I grew up. Believe in God? Uh, believe in God, yeah, and going to church all the time, Monday through Sunday. My grandparents are ministers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Monday through Sunday, bro. Yeah. Damn. I was looking for one in Florida. So. That's yeah. crazy. Kind of costly. How about you? Do you believe in God? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ain't no, of course. You, you know never that? know nowadays. Shit. I attempted to go last week on Sunday. You could be out here a while. So I literally typed them on GPS or it's a true story. I sat in the church. Fine. I found the church right in my house. When I got there, it was a school. What the? Mm. Yeah, so I'm guessing it was a church first and then a mm. switched to a school. So I didn't end up going. Yeah. But yeah, I still haven't been to one. Let me go to, you know, Joel Austin? You know the preacher? I just passed by that today. Because the church I've been to is just Spanish. Oh. I haven't been to except Hillsong in Manhattan. Yeah, I go to church. Y'all would not know what they yeah, show. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to an English church. I like that. If they go to Spanish, y'all obviously clapping and shit. <laughs> 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 okay, stand it up, clap for the shit. What is your favorite thing to eat? My favorite thing to eat is soul food. Yeah. I like chicken wings. My mom's soul food mm -hmm. and grandma's soul food. I'm gonna grab my soul food. That's my favorite thing. You're not listening? No, she's playing the machine. And my grandma, peach cobbler. I mean, but not peach cobbler, but I'm not good. And my dad, you know, like this cake. My dad made this cake. It's just so bomb. Okay. It's like, I can eat like strawberries, and it's just the. It's, okay. What's your love language? My love language. That is a good question. Physical gifts. What's y'all's love language? Let me know in the comments. Or is it affirmation? My love language would probably be like taking initiative to do things. So like, if I had a long, hard day, you do something about service, it. Service, act of service. So act of service. For me? For her. For me? I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I think it's a combination of things, to be honest. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. I, like, I like someone to be super thoughtful. Okay, like, so if you go to work and you have a long day and I just. Or if I'm feeling bad or feeling sick. Chris, nobody told you to insert yourself into what she trying to say, bro. I see you though. I see you. Put me in coach type shit, all right? He's in the game. He's got the ball right now, okay? He's trying to head for a touchdown. I see you, Chris. I'm not gonna lie though. At this point in the video, it's a little weird. I would be wrong as fuck if I didn't, if I came on his camera and told you that it wasn't weird, I would be lying. Cause this shit is weird as fuck. Let's be honest, y'all. Does anybody see what I see? This is weird. You got battle of the X, not battle of the X's, but the case of the X right here in front of us, guys. We got these two X's, and then Chris flirting with her, and then she blushing and shit. So obviously there's some type of attraction there, of course. And we all know from what Leslie says, Leslie claims her and Clarence used to watch Chris and Queen. This shit is weird as hell, guys. We can't make this shit up. We are all seeing this unfold before our eyes, guys. This is crazy. But anyway, let's continue, y'all. Hey, gentlemen, you just did something really thoughtful and really nice. Like okay. put rose petals and stuff on your hair. Make the bubble bath. Mm -hmm. Put like some little wine in there for you. Put some Spanish in your Yes, I like, I like someone to be very thoughtful. Okay. He, he making her visualize it right now. What pisses you off? Hey, what pisses me off, like in general, like, with anything? Anything. Mm -hmm. not, not a person. Wet socks. Thing. When people talk shit behind the camera, behind the app, 
Mm -hmm. That's the pistol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we type in. They won't say it to your face. They won't say it to your face. True. Again. Don't say it to What is your favorite sport? Did they just switch your face? To watch or play. Oh, no, no. To play. I watch. I want to go both. My favorite sport to play is basketball. My favorite sport to watch is basketball. Are you good? Mm hmm. You want to look at this? We'll have to see. Well, not with me. I need to see you against other people. I'll play. I'm going to show you a video. I'll play against uh, Chris Brown and the Matrix songs. I'm going to show you a video on YouTube. Okay. How did you do you find me attractive? How did they get Hey, they cute. <laughs> they cute, but it's weird. Let's go How ahead. did you do you find me attractive? How did they get What's your best feature yourself? Um, nice smile. She has a nice smile. I would say her lips though. Yeah. She has nice, nice lips. <laughs> he ain't playing. He ain't playing. Um, do you like watching shows? And if you do, what's your favorite show? So my favorite show as of now that I've seen, I, I definitely didn't watch TV. I didn't watch Netflix. TV, anything. I just started watching TV like later, like maybe like a couple months ago, two months ago. And my favorite show is How to Get Away with Murder. I never got into that show. That show is so good. I definitely got into it. I tried getting into it, but I haven't really got into that show at all. Okay, no. Yeah. So, so I will have to choose between them. So my old favorite show before that was Prison Break. That's my well, favorite that's show. That's a good show. I like that yeah, show. That's my favorite show too. Um, what time do you offer about that? Okay, uh, hygiene. Your hygiene is in. Can't be stinking. Big. <laughs> your booty can't be stinking. A big turn off. Teeth. If your teeth is not fucked up. Good. Yeah. It don't matter if your teeth good or not. <laughs> I'm sure they know this is weird too. I'm That's sure they know this is weird. Um. Yeah, your hygiene, you have to be clean. You have to take showers. Facts. You gotta smell good. So, no booty cheeks. That's please. a turn off. You're not. Like, no hot ass. What's the point of taking a shower though if you're gonna get dirty again? Christian, what's the point of it? It's a turn off. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Long nails is a turn off. Yeah, facts. Because them shit's nails. gotta get dirty at some point. Is a turn -off. I gotta cut my nails. <laughs> She snorted. Snorting is how fuck you talking about. She got a good laugh. Snorting. That's how you know it's good. Okay, your turn. That was good. A lot of turn offs you got. Well, perfect though. That's not perfect. You want Moses? How many countries have you visited? I'm on Mexico. Really? Mexico. Mm -hmm. I know. I never really wanted to or desired to go to a country, but I did go to Mexico. It's crazy, it's so beautiful. You gotta go see the world, world, man. Had you ever been to London? Speaking to myself, too. Oh, my, my God. My mom's in a I want to live in London so bad. Oh, my God. Will you date a guy with no money? <laughs> What's define no money? Right. That I have to take care of him? Because that'll be enough. Yeah, so, okay. But check this out. It's not like it can't change. He can't go get money or get a job, but he has a nice smile. <laughs> you gotta be working on it. He has a nice smile. Listen to me. Like he's trying to yap in your mouth. <laughs> he has a nice smile. High jeans is on point. Well, he sees handsome to you, like sexy as hell. How, exactly how you want him. He. It depends how he treats me. That's what I'm gonna say. He treats you very well. I feel like for me, you gotta be working on something too, like. You can't just be laying up, taking up space, my nigga, and being cute. You have to have like some type of drive. You have to be working on, you know, your dream, or you gotta be working on getting that job at McDonald's, Walmart, something. You have to have something going for yourself. You gotta be ambitious. He doesn't cheat. He's loyal to you. Well, that's not true, Chris. That smells good every time you just. Okay, and then he makes sure y'all go out on a date, and you gotta pay for the shit. And <laughs> He's so dramatic. I don't know, we have to fix the situation. He's gonna have to get money because I can't not be the only one providing. You gotta be working on it. But you know what? He has to be like working that. on it. I was like that. I'm not gonna say that because back in the day when I was broke, 
my girl was going to work and she was the one provider. I've been in that but situation before too. I started getting, I started getting money. You feel me? So it's not, it's not, so I feel like in a situation like that, it really depends on your mindset if, true. you know. But, but Chris, I'm pretty sure you were still working on something. You were working to get where you're trying to go. You weren't just laying up playing PS4 or maybe you were, I don't know. But I feel like a person has to have some type of drive and has to be trying to work on achieving what they're trying to achieve in life. I mean, yeah, because obviously he's treating you good and it's everything you want and he's everything you desire, then you just help the person get there. So I now, guess. She, now she wanted to say yeah. So. No, I didn't say no. I didn't even say no in the beginning. I said it all depends. I mean, if he's the type that doesn't want to do anything and doesn't want to work right, or that's trash. to get money, then that's trash. No. Right. I cannot provide. That is trash. 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 Yeah, that's trash. That's trash. That's just the same time. No, it, this just depends on his, his mindset. If he's trying to get money, yes, that's what I'm saying. No matter what it is, that's all I'm saying. But if he's just lazy and doesn't want to work, yeah. right? Yeah, work. If you're a bum, yeah. then it's a no. Right. Then what I have you for? Deep? No. Did you get that anywhere? True. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. All right, my last question is kind of what you asked me. What is your ultimate goal in life? That's a good question. My goal in life, I want to get married. That's the goal. I want to have a family, a big family. She said ultimate. And ultimate. I want to leave out the country. And go somewhere where it's no phones, no technology. I no. thought you just said you ain't had no desire to go out in the country, Chris. I'm gonna become a millionaire. Boom. You could go. You could go out the country right now with no phones. Well, yeah, I want to go somewhere where it's the place where people are skinny, people are nice. It's like barely no technology. Well, it's kind of hard in this day and era. There are places though. You can but do that. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, Retreats and all type of shit. They like, go somewhere far away. It's a beach and it's a big ass house. And it's just me and my kids and my wife. And we just really, it's just us. Same shit. You feel me? That's my girl. You feel me? So. Feels you. Mm, okay, you feel me? This is it from the video? Yeah. This was a good video. This was. Uh, they were just vibing. I don't no, this is on my channel. No, this is on my channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out his channel because we got a few. We got videos on my channel too, guys. So if you guys don't look at my channel, JK. <laughs> Chris is cool. Oh, yeah. He's a cool person. Really cool. You know, okay, guys, you know we were supposed to link up a long time ago, yeah. and we never have, and she's finally here. Yeah, and it's my fault why we never did before. Yeah. Was, you had a nigga. I was a little bit nervous, I think. You had a nigga, bro. Yeah, where? A little more concerned. Concerned. Concern and about, just uh, overthinking things, and I'm just an over, natural but it's not. But I was just saying, it's not about what people think, it's just as long as we have fun and we do good content for people that want it's true. to see it. Because people do want to see it, let's be honest. I wanted to see We do that, it doesn't matter what people think. People want to say negative stuff about us or whatever, but that's not, it doesn't matter, you know, everybody has their own opinion. But as long as we're having fun, as long as you guys are entertaining the video, that's all that matters, guys. So comment down below if we should do more videos okay. and what videos we should do. That's very important. So comment down below what videos you want us to do. I think that they should do a truth or a drink video. That would be dope. Judging by how heavy and how thick Chris was laying on the flirtation, it could get a little crazy. This is entertainment, right? So, hey, that's my recommendation. Y'all let me know what ideas y'all have for Chris and Leslie to do, more videos to come. It does seem like they are definitely a vibe. You don't know what people are putting on for the camera. You don't know how they are when the camera shuts off. You just never know, okay? But I will say that they look like a vibe. I will also say that this situation's weird as fuck, but I'm not gonna hate on it, you know? Obviously, we're gonna be entertained by the shit. Y'all are probably entertained by the shit. So, you know, uh, let's see what else comes out. I know Chris is supposed to be releasing a video today, so I'll be reacting to that too. Might drop it today, might drop it tomorrow. It just depends on, you know, just depends. I don't know. But y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Do y'all ship them? Do y'all not ship them? Do y'all think something's coming out of this? 
do y'all think that this would just be a cool friendship, a cool vibe, maybe a business relationship or something like that? Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Once again, this is weird as hell. And uh, yeah, that's my opinion on the situation. That's really all I got until we see some more videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to. Next, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an angel, mama, tell an uncle Joe, he's still home. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.